Hey everyone, it's John and Melissa with Thrift and Flip and on today's video we went to a whole bunch of places, a whole bunch of thrift stores and we found some really good stuff. We also went to some really good garage sales Yeah. and one of them, well tell them about what, the one. The one where everything was a dollar? Everything! Everything, everything was a dollar! Couldn't believe it! A buck! One buck! Yeah. So we bought a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll show you what we got. So let's get into the video. Okay, let's get started in all the stuff that we found today. There's a lot of it. So boy, let's do this. Starting off here. This is an air purifier right here. It's kind of a, a mini one, an eco box. And this one is $5. I don't know what it's going to sell for because it has some strange comps on there, like a brand new one sold for $400. So I don't know. We're going to list it on there. We're going to see if we can get, we'll try it for like probably $80 to see. So that'll be a nice flip. Then we got this one at an estate sale, paid 50 cents for it. But it comps out really well. It's brand new in the box, uh, fresh uh, brush. So it's scrubbing bubbles. If you ever see scrubbing bubbles, pick it up. It might be worth it but this sells for twenty dollars all day long then we got this bowl and squeegee um we paid what a dollar for both of them you know what we'll probably end up selling it for probably 10 bucks for the bowl not sure on the squeegee we might actually use that for our shower inside then over here we got movies all these movies right here are actually brand new there's a whole big box of them over here and we got all these movies four for a dollar now there's one of them in there that's going to be worth a hundred dollars now can you guess which movie is worth a hundred dollars it's probably one you can't even see the name of because it's probably facing the other way there it is it's actually right there boom mortal kombat that one should get about a hundred bucks i think maybe 88 dollars but we'll call it a hundred why not um so just that one we still have to look up the rest of them we might actually send that one off to be graded because when they're graded they could be worth a whole lot more got this rummy cube it was 50 cents just picked it up just because we like the game it doesn't bring in a whole lot of money maybe a dollar then we got some mugs over here she was actually charging us a uh, half price day so from four dollars to two dollars but she forgot she still rang us up for four dollars that's okay we're looking to flip them for you know twelve dollars so not gonna really make a whole lot of money on it but we just wanted to support the, the the people there so that's what we're looking to do then we've got this church actually goes with a whole bunch of other ones that we've got going on over here in the tote and say hi hello <laughs> so this all tote. how much did we pay for this tote ten dollars ten dollars ten dollars yeah ten dollars for the whole tote and it has all these It's a Wonderful Life uh, illuminated Christmas decorations. I think there's four of the big ones. Then there's some small ones down there as well. So those usually sell for about $25 on up. So let me get back on over here. So this is one of those air purifier filters that we picked up in the past. We sold one probably about a month ago for $80. And this one was $15. This one was from a, a unique thrift store. Um, so that's going to be a nice flip. Then we got a remote control over here. It's a Logitech. It comes with the charger and everything. I do not know if it works, but I only paid a dollar for it. Sell for $35 online. Over here, we got a Murano. Uh, I guess that's a Swan. It's a cool little piece. I don't want to pick it up because I'll probably end up breaking it. But yeah, I don't know. I think we paid five bucks for that thing. Yes yeah five dollars for it so we don't know what it's worth we're gonna have to look it up and see but if we're gonna guess we'll probably just say let's do a conservative 20 to 40 dollar range back over here now we're getting into the stuff that we actually picked up for a dollar so this amplifier it even has the cords in the back and everything paid one dollar for that i don't know if it works but at a dollar it's worth it to try and find out then we've got some clothes that we picked up a Nike shirt that looks pretty nice here. We'll show you what it looks like. This is pretty unique, yeah? Yeah, one dollar. One dollar for that. Nice little Nike shirt, one dollar. One dollar! It says three dollars, but it's only one dollar. And then we've got 
these. What is this? That, so these cost 50 cents. This is a Calvin Klein sweater uh, for women. Um, this one isn't a great brand. This is White Stag, but it was brand new. And I, again, it cost 50 cents. And this, I have no idea what brand this is. It's Via Max. I think it might even be like a pleather type uh, vest. Anyway, 50 cents. I thought I might as well pick it up. Somebody might want it. Yeah. We got this jean jacket at that garage sale where everything was a dollar. And I think it was a Route 66 jean jacket. And I think the tag says it is size large. So I'm assuming it's a men's. And a brand new pair of, what what are these? Levi's. Um, Levi's, Levi's um, 40 waist and 30 length. Um, and those were a dollar, brand new with tags. Yes. We'll let you show them what's inside the, uh, the tote right there. You picked up all this stuff while I was looking through the VHS, so I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> I think I picked this up. Yeah, you picked that one up. I don't know what you do with it, but um, it was a dollar, and it was brand new in the box, so I thought maybe we should have it. Heck yeah. Gotta like that. Gotta like free, right? We'll take it. All right, not free, but a dollar. Close enough to free. Okay. Okay, starting off, we got a ser now this stuff was all one dollar. So a Sirius XM satellite radio little system here for just one dollar. Got a Craftsman drill, fourteen point four volt. This is a dollar. Don't know if any of this stuff works, but hey, remember people, it was just a dollar. This is a big bag of razors. So there's some Gillette series. Okay, let's blades. talk about the there's item that I paid less than ten cents for and got listed for forty dollars. So in the bag of razor blades, there's actually one set of razor blades. There's like a pack of five in there for um, but anyways these razor blades were made by Schick and they're discontinued blades that you can't get anymore so people are gobbling those up on eBay I got them listed for $40 right now and to make 40 bucks off of something I paid less than 10 cents and the reason why I say less than 10 cents is because in the bag there's a bunch of razor blades all all different Gillette ones that were in there and I got those listed as well but the one special ones was this little pack of Schick blades that I can, I'm going to make 40 bucks on. Paying less than 10 cents. How fantastic is that? So let's get back into your video. And then we've got this uh, Z-Wave thermostat by Radio Thermostat. And it was a dollar. And then we've got this, which here, let me turn it around. Let me try not dropping it. So it's a uh, infrared cordless TV hi-fi system. So essentially you hook it up so you can have the TV playing in your ear um, rather than having it go through the speakers of the television set. And that was a dollar. Now here we have a stapler. That's just for our own personal use. But yes, it was a dollar. We'll take it. And then they had some Avon. Now this is Avon Wild Country in there. Well, hey, that was a dollar. And then we've got some uh, some audio cassettes. Um, this one is what a DR2. So these these are just going to be what is it? I don't know, 90 minutes, I guess, 90 minute cassettes, and I think there's five of them in there. But it was a dollar. So the real the reality of it is, for the pricing on it, obviously it's all a dollar. But you know, if we could sell that for ten dollars, we could probably sell this whole thing for twenty dollars. Uh, the XM, I don't know, that's probably only going to be like $10 to $12 Craftsman. That might be $10 to $15 stapler we're keeping. Um, that we might be able to sell for $15. The Avon, how much do you think on the Avon? Oh, I don't know, it could be $10 to $15. Bucks, 10 to 15 bucks. So everything was kind of like $10 to $15 range is what we found there. Um, we also found this one over here, which was a dollar. And I picked this up, so it's an arm sling. Um, but I have a brand new pillow in one of my totes and I needed the sling to go with it So I'm gonna put that with it. That's why I picked that up for a dollar These guitars guitar heroes. These are three PlayStation guitars and each of them were a dollar and those go for probably 
20 to 25 dollars plus shipping let's say 20 dollars plus shipping and then i've got all these cbs now cbs can be kind of all over the place i'm gonna have to look up each one individually um, but there's two of them in there they usually go from anywhere from uh, 15 to 60 dollars depending upon the model um, these look like they're pretty good units, so I'd be venturing to say, let's just call each one of these $25 just to be safe. And then there's a DVD VCR combo player made by Go Video. Um, that's going to be the cheaper model, so it's probably only going to be worth $25 if it's working. But hey, we only paid a dollar for it. And <laughs> I got this other box filled with stuff, and all this stuff was a dollar. So we got this radio here. There's a dollar, but it sells for like thirty dollars. Um, got another radio over here. Same thing. It was a dollar, and it'll probably sell for it. Well, once we clean it up, and we got to make sure that it works. That might be another thirty dollars. And then I got this Ryobi 12 volt uh, drill with two uh, batteries on it, and paid a dollar for that. And that might be worth. 20 25 bucks and then you can see there's a whole bunch more movies and cds in there and the nice thing with these movies is they're all brand new so we got all kinds of classic movies that were only a buck and sometimes those vhs's could be worth a lot we haven't looked them up yet but hey we're hoping that there's probably something good in that bunch okay and this bag was an estate sale and this was a, a resmed cpap do not sell this on eBay. I'm gonna tell you from experience, I actually got suspended once. Right, babe? Yes, we did. Yeah, we got suspended for selling pieces of the actual unit, which would be like this. Don't even sell the mask because you'll get uh, you'll get the boot. But this you can actually sell to a website. Um, well, there's another website where a business that actually buys these. So we picked it up for five bucks and figured, hey, it was a good gamble. Sometimes they're worth nothing. Sometimes they're worth something. So that one's going to be a full on gamble. But if it's if it's good, they usually pay about 150 bucks for that. Then we got photosynthesis, the game and the wife picked that one up. That one was three dollars. It's educational and I think it should flip for about 40 bucks plus shipping. 40 bucks for that game, brand new and sealed. And then we got Biomedical Life Systems. I don't even know what I picked up. Did I pick this one up for a buck? Is this one of the dollar items? Um, yes, it was a dollar. All right, yeah, so this is one of those units that like tenses up your muscles or whatever. And so there's little patches that you put on there and then you hit the button. It's called TEPS, I think. And it just makes your uh, muscles twitch. So I don't know, paid a buck for it. These usually sell for probably 35, 40 bucks. So we'll take it. And I know you're eyeballing this right here. Big Mouth Billy Bass. I don't know if this one is the old one. It just looks like it's old. Okay, this is the old one. It's 1974 oh, in wow. the box. So these Billy Basses, when they're this old in the box, if it works, we're probably looking at a good $60. Um, and that's going to be conservatively. So look for these big mouth Billy Basses. We actually have another one right over there. Look at him. Look at that guy. See him right there? This one right here. Yeah, that one right there. He's got the microphone. He does the dancing. He's the stand-up one where this is just the one who's the, the plaque on the wall. So... Yeah, very cool finds like those. And then over here, we got Hank Williams Jr. Now this box is all beat up, but Hank Williams, we bought, paid $5 for him. If he works, he's worth anywhere between $30 to $60. So figure that's a good risk. We'll take a risk, even though this box is all beat up. You know what? Good chance to make some money. I told you about that. Did not tell you about the jelly chair. Now you've seen in the past, we sell these jelly chairs and they go for really good money. They usually sell for about $45 and we paid $4.50 for this one. I think they give us a discount on it for furniture. Yeah, like a, I think it was 30% discount. Yeah, very nice. So even at $3 to flip it into $50, it's good money. Now at Goodwill, we found a VCR, a Sony VCR. Paid $6.49 for it. 
And these will usually sell for about $35 to $40. And the last one's over here is a Denon. And this one is just a radio. We paid $5.49 for it. And those will actually typically sell for about $60. So if you see the brand name Denon, you always want to look those ones up, make sure they work. And if they do, that could be some good money. So as you can see, we've got a big plethora of a haul today. Okay, so that's all the stuff that we found for today. And I am hot and tired. What about you? Oh my gosh, I think you can see me sweating. That's gross, I know. But it is 114 degrees out at this moment. Maybe even a little bit hotter. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, that's 114 degrees. But we're in the garage and it's, it actually gets hotter in the garage. So we're like in a sauna right now. So it is super hot in the garage, but we got to get all this stuff put away. I don't know if we're going to be able to test all this stuff because there's a ton of it in here. But we do have to pull our orders that we have sold for today. Yeah, we've sold, I think, seven orders. Seven orders. So we got to pull those seven orders, but we'll show you what we actually sold and how much it sold for. So let's get into that. Okay, the first thing that we're going to go and find today is some little propeller wings. Now, these little propeller wings are actually going to be right over here in this box. So let's pull this out. Let's get rid of that. Let's dig in here to see what we can find. It's probably going to be in this little box here. It's probably these ones right here. So the propeller wings, well, I got nothing into it because... It's part of a box where I parted something out, but those propeller wings sold for $8.54 plus $4.95 for the shipping for this, this little thing. So yeah, nice little find, uh, something to part out. Oops, I just dropped the wings. Okay, so here's the, <laughs> the propellers and we gotta go put these inside. Now the wife also sold the Pampered Chef. What is this thing, babe? Um, so it's an ice cream sandwich maker. Ice cream sandwich maker, huh? Sold that on Macari, um, but for not much money. I don't know, like eight dollars. Huh. So eight bucks. How much did you pay for it? Probably a dollar. A dollar. Then we got these Nitto stickers. Uh, sold two of those little stickers there. And how much did you sell the stickers for? Ten dollars. Ten dollars for two stickers? Yes. Very nice. All right. So, and what we have, like, not even a dollar into the stickers. So, stickers are a nice, fine, nice sale. That's fantastic. So, there's two, three, three things that we sold so far. Now, let's go over here and try and find. We've got an Iowa uh, CD carousel changer. This is a five disc. Sold it for $37.99 plus $19.99 for the shipping. And this unit, um, we ended up paying $6.49 when we actually picked it up. So here's all our units. Now we just got to look to see which one is the Iowa. It actually might be over in another section because I'm not seeing it over here. But we're going to glance through here and see if we could find it. Okay, so here is the Iowa system. It's on the bottom right there. We'll go ahead and pull it. Move this and this on over. Ooh, that top one's actually heavy. And this one we've had for probably yeesh, six months. So to have it sold is a great thing. We'll move that one on over. And what's the next item we got, babe? Um, I sold past the pigs. I oh, I love finding these. We usually find them for about a dollar. Um, not sure how much we sold them for. Probably not much. Um, I'd have to look it up. But anyway, a cute little game. Um, I'm from the Midwest, and so I find these games to be quite funny. Um, so love these. How much did we sell that for? Past the pigs. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Nice. And at 5 45 for the ship. Perfect. Not bad for a dollar purchase. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got this. It's like a Sony DVD VCR combo unit. And we sold it for $37.99. We picked that one up for $8.49. So let's go see if we can find that one. Voila. There she is in all her glory. What do you think of that sale? That's a pretty good sale. 
That's a winner, winner chicken dinner. Love it when we sell electronics. It's a Sony CD DVD player, um, the DVP5, I don't know, S570D. Sold it for $18.99 plus $19.95 for shipping. Okay, so that's the, the Sony DVD player that we just sold. So that's what we got sold for right now. We're going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up so we could get it shipped off to our customers. And hopefully we get a couple more sales later on today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please do so so we can see you on the next video.